Make it a little bigger, Nick. Scroll that shit in. Oh my goodness, interrupted. Go ahead, Max. So uh, on the right there is Jake Shields, the guy with the hat, on the very format of show in which he is criticizing. Scroll back up, I'll read the rest. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good, guys. Today is a good day, and I'm back with more clips from the Whatever Podcast. But before I, um, you know, go right down to this, um, Elizabeth, if you're watching the video right now, I want you to know that I took notes of what you said the last time. I didn't ignore you. I just not been feeling too well to make adjustments. But I want you to tell me if I've made any improvements so far. So guys, with that being said, we're going to be reacting to Brian's response to Hypocrite Hater of the podcast. This should be interesting, so let's go right on to this. Twitter drama. I'm freaking working late night. Phone blown up. People tell me. I get a DM from Chase or a text from Chase. Brian, check your Twitter. Apparently, Jake Shields, former UFC champion or something. I don't know. MMA fighter. We've actually, I've, we DM'd before, and it was very uh, pleasant. So I don't know why he doesn't like me. Uh, I, I don't really uh, talk shit about people or start beef, beef with them. But Jake Shields, MMA, MMA fighter. Nick, pull up the tweet. <laughs> Make it a little bigger, Nick. Scroll that shit in. Oh my goodness, interrupted. Go ahead, Maddie. The Whatever Podcast is a show designed to divide the sexes and make women look like dumb. The Daily Wire regularly sends over their talent to amplify and help make the podcast larger. I have a source at The Wire telling me that they are trying to buy the Whatever Podcast. Why does a conservative, conservative site want to push this garbage? Five-time world champion. Someone's trying to uh, this buy is it? The, this is the drama. <laughs> well, uh, then I responded next tab. I responded to the tweet. Oh, wow. That was a long response. Jake. Jake, one day ago you platformed on your podcast, The Man Who Still Does and popularized the very format you're criticizing. You've collaborated with them many times. In fact, as recently as April 11th, 2024, you were on their show and participated in the very format you're criticizing. See attached screenshot below. You can scroll down. <sighs> so uh, on the right there is Jake Shields, the guy with the hat on the very format of show in which he is criticizing. Scroll back up, I'll read the rest. Uh, given that you view this sort of format as garbage and take such great issue with it, have you raised your concerns with the people you are regularly in contact with, who you've recently met in person, who make this exact same kind of content? To your second false statement, we've had Michael Knowles on the show two times, and the we had him on two days. Uh, in the two plus years we've been doing the show, Michael was last on the show about seven months ago. Maybe we have different definitions of the word regular. Though if you consider this regular, I'd point out it's less regular than how often you support, collaborate, and appear on a channel podcast that you yourself would have to describe as designed to divide the sexes and make women look like to your third false statement, there's no communication between whatever and the Daily Wire about any sort of acquisition partnership or anything to that effect. Boom. Boom. And then he tweeted a whole bunch of extra shit, and that's the only thing I've said. So, um, Jake. Huh? Is his name Jake? Jake? Jake Shields, yeah. I have no beef with this guy. People just randomly will start sh talking shit, fucking... A lot of fucking haters on Twitter. Cernovich recently out of the blue randomly. I'd be curious to see his response. This is juicy. Well, then he just shifted it. I Actually, I mean, he basically just shifted it, like shifted the goalposts essentially. But um, anyways, I don't have a beef with this guy. Never said a bad word about him. In fact, we DM'd a long time ago, invited him on the show. Um it didn't we never scheduled it or anything but uh it's just kind of weird i don't mm. know why what i'm confused about is like he's homies with people who do the same kind of format show so that's the drama i guess and then like cernovich was also talking shit i invited him to debate but he actually fuck can we nick can you go to the twitter just it should be like 10 tweets down we'll pull up the cernovich one too
I really try to avoid all, most of the time if somebody says some bullshit on Twitter I just ignore it but occasionally I get fucking it's annoying when especially if they like just are making shit up like if somebody just talks shit and they're they say something like this person sucks but when they start like saying like false accusations that's when I really get feel compelled to respond so <laughs> for Brian and I totally get him because see Twitter is a mad space hear me Twitter is a mad space like for the sake of your mental health do not go on Twitter to argue like you just get to meet different crazy people out there but I don't know why um people are like this like human beings in general like so many people do this thing you obviously know that you do something similar I don't know why people people are so quick. Even the Bible, it said that you should take out your you should take out a speck from your own eyes before um something about before going to take out from your brother. So I'm like, you obviously like look at the video um Brian attached to his reply. I'm like, you were in that space, that but that kind of space too, and then you're coming out to tell um Brian how like. I'm not saying this because I like whatever podcast, but I'm just being for real. Like, people should be for real. Like, it's getting really, really annoying. Stop. I don't know how to put this that you guys are going to understand, but stop making, like, false accusations against somebody. And actually, when you, you do that thing, you have friends who do those things, and then you don't go after your friends like that. You just pick on somebody because you feel like you can. Basically... I personally okay I had I um I conversed with a friend recently and the person was telling me that the I can't really remember who but I know I know we had a conversation but the person was telling me that whatever podcast that they don't really like it because you know it's just like they're making girls look stupid and all that that is that's how you see it but maybe it's just me I see it from a whole different perspective you know I'm someone who likes to um know how people think because there's so many people in this world that do different things and we all think so differently so i just want to know how you think and like so basically because i know when i went to visit my uncle like i think that was last week my uncle was like um i was watching big brother and my uncle was like you watch this show i don't i don't even know what you guys get from this show why do you watch it and i'm like oh uncle for me i just like seeing how people are like it's just nice to understand some people and get to see how they think, how they behave, how they analyze things. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I'm that kind of person. I would observe you. I want to know how you think. I want to know how you're going to react to a certain situation. and kind of feel, yeah. So that's basically it for me. So I told him and he was like, nah, he doesn't get it. I'm like, okay, maybe it's just me. But that's how it is for me too on the whatever podcast. I'm like, yeah, there's so many girls who, you know, are only fan girls and then people who um you know like porn stars and all that that come to the show and the other people i've seen i've seen charlie kick on the show i've seen candace owen i've seen michael knows like there's so many people too that come to the show and then like you just get how ha- like it's like having a debate with two different people that think oh like they don't think the same way like their thoughts are completely opposite of each other and then like you get to understand them from both sides that's how i see it but i don't know haters are just gonna hate so that's that's by the way but guys you tell me what you think about this and don't forget to like subscribe to my channel i love you guys